Thank you. Brothers and sisters, I was recently in Albania. I went to see those people with whom I lived sometime in Iraq, in Ashraf. And I was extremely happy to meet some of those who were injured during the attack of April 19. Uh, 2011. And believe it or not, Iraqi officials have told me in person that a long list of them will never come out of Iraq. So when I met them in Albania, free, healthy, and uh, high morale, I said that It is possible, it is possible to achieve the impossible. And obviously, as you are all aware, that PMI has achieved the impossible when they came out of the list of the terrorists, bringing out 2,500 people out of Iraq is also an impossible that has been made possible. And uh, let me tell you, as a remembrance of a situation of real crime against humanity. When I stood in the house of one of the Iraqi officials, urging him to give one word to save life, to give one word on the telephone to the people on the ground, to his soldiers, to say, stop it. That word, stop it, would have saved a lot of life. But he refused. And I'm sure Mr. Roberts, Mr. Jeffrey Robertson will agree with me that when you face a man in charge of the attack against the Ashrafis, you tell him, please stop it. That will save life. He refused to do so. And as far as I'm concerned, he is a criminal, and he should be held accountable for that action. <laughs> the reason I'm here today really is to talk about the, what's left to be done. What's left to be done in the context of the justice for victims of the 1988 massacre in Iran. As you know, a, an association has been launched this summer with a rather ambitious program, which is to bring those suspects of having committed crimes against humanity the massacres that took place in 1988, to try to identify them, to try to also identify the laws applicable, to try to identify the jurisdictions that could entertain those cases, and to try to prepare a file for the United Nations. There is also lots of things happening in the United Nations. We have a new Secretary General of the United Nations. We are holding lots of hope on his robust intervention in reorganizing the structures of the United Nations that will be able to look straight into these issues and try to address them properly. We will very soon present on behalf of the justice 
for victims of 1988 massacre in Iran, we will present a report. This report will try to identify the crimes, the laws, the jurisdictions. The report will try to be as objective as possible. Therefore, it will not be an analytical report. It will be fact-finding report. So when this report is ready, we hope by the time the new Secretary General will take his position, the report will be on his desk. And I thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>